Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you are watching us from. Hmm, we are back again, oh, we are back again. As you can see, the question here is, does DSS have all experts for all sort of illness? I'm trying to know because um, when they were asked that Mazin and the be taken out of their facility to receive certain treatments, they will tell you they have expert in this, expert in this. <laughs> Do they have somebody that takes care of the ear? Because of the latest I'm hearing. Hmm. And, you know, these problems could, from this, it gets to this. So they mean to say they have every expert in every field. Uh, is that what they are trying to tell us? Now, according to reports from Mazin Namdekano's lawyer, he said Mazin Namdekano needs urgent ear attention, surgery. The lawyer is raising an alarm. He needs urgent surgery on the ear. They said he needs to undergo an ear surgery. They said his left ear was badly impaired on account of torture he received in the hands of his abductors in Kenya. So it's a problem that already started from Kenya. The lawyer made this known in a statement following his recent visit alongside other lawyers to the detained IPUB leader in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. It's like DSS have, you know, so many departments. Makamweji kuwane teka. And IPOB is making a complaint. They said it is to be noted that the federal government of Nigeria was quick to comply with the you know, decision of the Supreme Court concerning the CBN money, money policy. A reverse and this, they are quick to comply on that. And if you go out there, people will hear, oh, this federal government obeys the courts. What about court ruling on Mazen Namdekano? He said, while the same government has blatantly refused to obey court judgment on its own court, its own court of competent jurisdiction, particularly the judgment of the appeal court, which discharged Onyendu and prohibited its further detention at that. And the judgment of the Federal High Court, Umwaiha, which ordered for the unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano. So they said this clearly supports the notion that some are considered less entitled to justice in the Nigerian society. I, we are in a country that anything goes. And that is still the reason why some people doesn't want anything to do with this country. Can you imagine? You obey the court on these matters and obey the, disobey the court on the other matters. Where is it done? Go to United States. Even ordinary individuals, eh? they scare government with the courts. You can be sued for anything. Meanwhile, we like what U.S. is doing concerning Hopus Odima. How many of you have had the latest? We are going to still talk about it here. Certain several lawyers involved in that matter are denied U.S. visa, uh, but that is small. They can go to another country, at which they are restricted from traveling to any part of the world. Not just restriction; they should suffer for what they did, for trampling upon the judicial system and hurting. Not just okay; they can do anything with their ju judicial system, but do you know how many people that was hurt in Imo State? With that um, decision on Hope Uzodema and Emeki Heriha. Meanwhile, we're still going to talk about that. So, well, let's continue with Mazen Namdekanu's case. Um, uh, his legal team are so much displeased. 
According to them, it is disheartening to note that there is no remarkable improvement in Kano's health condition, it added. Now, on the further read, Kano complained that DSS remained adamant and refused to adhere to the medical opinion of their own doctor, who stressed that Kano needs to undergo an urgent ear surgery to salvage whatever is left of his left ear, which was badly impaired on account of the torture he received in the hands of his abductors in Kenya. Kano lamented that over a month ago, he wrote out the beverages and other items, including soap, that he needed. And he was informed that the approval of the director of operations needed to be obtained before the same could be provided for him. Unfortunately, the said items are yet to be provided for him. Hmm. Hey! Monaldo, um, hardened criminal. And when the court said an accused person is given an opportunity to answer to the accusation, let's assume this is an accused person now. It does not uh, stop at allowing him to answer to certain accusation in the court. No. It also includes liberty to certain things until he is convicted. But look at what is happening in Nigeria. That is why a lot of people are still querying the union. You know, he's been treated, based on what we're hearing, as if he's been judged and a condemned criminal. I can't understand. And according to his lawyer, he's kept uh, in a place where he cannot even reply the public based on what in the information these guys have been feeding the public. You know, there was a recent report that says um, all the attention he needed, you know, they published certain things about his health and feeding records. And we were like, oh, they said everything is normal. Well, look at what his lawyers are saying. Or maybe we should just conclude there is an attempt to just, you know, quench a life. If not, explain. Or he has been judged already in their own courts that, you know, we are not meant to know what is their final outcome. So according to his lawyer, his legal team, he said, it is reasonable to believe that Onyen Dumas and Namdekano is being treated so shabbily because his oppressors expected his followers upon reading, hearing of his condition and shabby treatment to violently revolt, thereby playing into the hands of the sponsored marauders presently running rampage in our land. Meanwhile, his, the legal team asked his supporters to remain focused ceaselessly, pray for him and remain undivided in their peaceful uh, solidarity. I, like I used to say in my other broadcast, I was um, I, I, I'm wondering if Buhari is waiting for Southeast to boil, then they, uh, the federal government will see something to push on. Uh, to come against the region and our people. In the mess sub we have been subjected into by the British government, because it's a mess. This is a total mess. Business interests, like I used to say, march together against your will. And, okay, let's, you, you're not contacted, they march you together and um, they still subject you to Certain displeasing treatments. This TV is concerned because this is an evil matter. Mm. That is why we are concerned. So viewers, what do you think? Add your comment on the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. Bye-bye for now.